Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. Thanks for joining us back in the Weather Center. And I've pulled up a live look of Youngstown right now. I really just want to show what we're looking at. You see the heaviest rain in this portion, but again, the rain extends all the way to the southeast part of Youngstown. This is what we're keeping a close eye on. As we go to the wall, well, we can see that there's still a severe thunderstorm warning issued out for Mahoning County, but that's going to continue to make its way eastward, and we're keeping a close eye on that. So this whole system is a convective thunderstorm system, meaning when you have the heat and the humidity from today's storms, well, you're going to get those fuel just right for the thunderstorms. We can see a move across the east, a lot of cl cloud to ground lightning still associated with these storms. We're looking at two threats currently. The first threat is a severe thunderstorm warning, which is issued for the next 15 minutes until 7 o'clock. The other one is an aerial flood warning for Columbiana County. We've seen rainfall rates almost two inches for the last hour. Also, what we're seeing again, the threat continues to be hail. We saw earlier the eastern part of of Columbiana County seeing that heavy hail, but again, we're seeing a lot of it hit or miss throughout the western part of the counties. That's going to make its way eastward into the western part of Columbiana and Mahoney County. Also, we talked about that flood potential. Again, some of us saw in Columbiana County salt rain up to two inches in the last hour. If you're going to be out on the roads tonight, make sure you be very careful and watch for some ponding on the roads as well as if there's any moving water, make sure you drive around it. Don't go through it. Again, we're seeing a lot of strong storms throughout the valley tonight. Future Tracker still has them in at the end of this newscast. We're seeing just around 7 o'clock, and they're not going to move a whole bunch until around 8 o'clock. So we're looking just an hour and a half into the future. We can see, again, they're going to push off into Columbiana County. We're expecting, again, Columbiana County to be hit for the second time tonight, unfortunately. The good news is, however, these are going to push out of our area early on. We're looking around 1130 again after they push out of our area. We should be clear for the rest of the evening leading into the start of our Monday morning. We can see Monday morning right around six o'clock. We just have a little bit of patchy hit or miss clouds, but again, it's going to make its way for a beautiful Monday morning and day for sunny skies, and that will continue throughout the rest of the day on Monday as well as on to Tuesday. We see tonight the low is just around 66 degrees. We're seeing just around 20% chance of rain. Again, after these showers and storms move out of our area, we do not expect them to stick around for much longer. Tomorrow we're seeing sunny skies highs back up into the mid 80s, partly to mostly sunny skies. It's going to be a beautiful day to start off our work week. Then after that, Look at the temperatures. We see a huge cool down for Thursday, Friday. We're expecting for the start of the Columbian Affair just a little bit of rain, but after that, temperatures 10 times better. We're looking at highs just in the mid 70s.